This is a family program. Kumia's Cucks is for the family. If you have a loved one, go get them. Sit them down. Smash the likes. That's right. Everyone in your family hit the like button. Dirty Dalish is here, everybody. Take off your shoes. Show some respect to Dirty Dalish. Gina Bombina is in the chat. We got all the ladies over here. All the ladies. Where's Stella? Where's she at? She cooking lunch? Are we cooking lunch? Man, oh man, you guys are having a good time today, aren't you? Oh man, there's some a uh, lot of Chad gets the ladies. Yes, he does. Dick Fitzwell's here, everybody. Your moderator, Bill from Jersey's here. We got both Dalish and Bill from Jersey. The only two people. Who are the Chad's wrench. fan? No one else. Ian Hawk betrayed my trust, so we had to kick him to the curb. Wow. Ian Hawk paid my That's what it's all about, everybody. Betrayed my trust. April's cooking <laughs> sloppy joes for supper tonight. Ian. Who says supper anymore? I think I heard her say she's she's cooking again that is a that must be like a midwestern thing man that must be like a see i'm from i'm from the midwest i'm from cleveland ohio area oh but i don't i don't think we grew up saying supper we said we said pop when it when we talked about soda we said pop will this be up later it was never supper it was is dinner. this a show i think jim norton says supper all the time he's always like cooking a supper i mean this is pathetic this is so what's going on everybody this is chad's show now he came on and told you about a new time slot he's gonna be trying uh sundays now forget saturday nights forget saturday days forget thursdays forget fridays he's got a new time slot again you'll only see him today and then he'll change it all again again does anybody remember carl saying that there's nothing interesting about me, so you'll no longer cover me. It's so funny how these people just lie. Isn't Chad, didn't Chad say he doesn't watch Steel, uh, Melton or Steel Toe or Ray? And then he came on again today and goes, guys, for real this time, I'm not going to watch those guys. No, for real, I'm not going to watch Melton anymore. No more clicks. <laughs> and then Chad goes, he said he didn't watch. These guys just lie. It's like Chad. Chad, honey. I think everyone's full of shit. Does anyone ever, like, anything Chad says, I get it. Melton says something. You have to, like, you know, put on your detective hat. Does anyone believe anything Chad says ever? Ever. <laughs> you guys know. We've all seen it. We played it on the last episode. John and Pat. Let him know he's sniping. He's fired up. Let him know he's getting sniped. He'll hate it. He's doing it. He's like, ah. Patrick seems mildly amused. Yeah, Patrick's smoking a cigarette. He's kind of looking at him. So, Doug from Who's Right put this together. Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. Who said that to you here? Nobody. Women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? It's like. Ch- Chad is literally becoming steel toe. He covers everything a week after everybody else. It's like, holy shit. Chad's covering like, <laughs> Chad's covering like, you know, uh, steel toe episodes. That everyone else has already covered. Now he's got exclusive footage of Melton and John and the Borgata from nine days ago. It's like, what are we doing? Oh my God. This is great. I wanna this is out. unbelievable. How bad John looked on Tuesday. So Monday was a trap. Oh no, Chad's down to 103 watching. And you got every time people, every time Melton snipes, it kills Chad's viewers. Oh no. He finally shows up on his show. All right. At 11 a.m. his time. And 
this is what a hangover looks like <laughs> all caps if if you saw all caps hangover and you needed Clara Bixby, Chad, we're driving around Palm Springs listening to you. My boyfriend is from Cleveland and a big fan of yours. Go Browns. All right. Tell him I said hello. Go Browns indeed. The best part about Chad is he thinks that he thinks he has fans. That's the best part. The best part is him thinking like Stella B gets it. <laughs> he looked better than your wife, Carl. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not good. Not good. A visual guide. By the way, I love me offering money to my lost interest is pissed off all the other Clippers. Sorry, I'm starting a Clipper war. I'm starting a Clipper war. First of all, idiot. I mean, I love the logic of like, yeah, Melton should be paying us for the Clips. <laughs> it's like, okay, way to take the bait. As if I'd ever give my lost interest a dot. Suck my dick, my lost. No, I'm kidding. But I do love that all the little uh, Clippers are upset now. Clipper war. Clipper war. Clipper war. I was at the Borgata. I, I was, there was Ooh. no screaming. My voice was fine. I actually did a show. I actually went up and performed. We heard with it. With a shitty sound system. We heard it. <laughs> so what? who's screaming? Chug, 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 At chug, people chug, about your chug, 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 chug. Make chug, a chat chug, go chug, honey chug, ho. Holy shit. Did you travel back Tito's home to the, in the bottle, desert? Don't Why are you, know? you so thirsty, sir? chug a lug chug a lug uh, He does look like he just got right. rescued off a desert island. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah I love this like, other guy. We took your content and made clips of it. You owe us money. Huh? I'm seriously asking. I'm not trying to, like, be cool. I'm not trying to, like... I, I honestly don't know who this... Wait a minute. We make a living from your content. How dare you use our content? <laughs> Did you get it yet? He's used their names. How do we begin? He He's dusty. so dehydrated. Yeah. Now, what's crazy to me is, you know, Rocco got that awesome video. I played on the creep off. I played on Drew and Mike yesterday. Everyone's been what is the show, Chad? What's the show? It's like now, now you just watch WATP and go, Phew, Carl, Phew, stupid. This will be up later. Uh -oh. It's just unbelievable. Uh-oh. I mean, I can't handle it. Oh, no. Yeah, whenever he snipes me, I'm just like, I can't. I mean, it's just too much. I mean, he's just such a fucking mastermind. Just a genius, you know? He's getting he's on. He's so smart. He's getting on the ramp. Clever. How oh, he comes no. up with stuff and oh, does things no. that he's, he's seen other people on the, do. He's doing it to himself I mean, it's just again. Amazing. He's going to he do it. He watches what other people do. Here he do, goes. Here he goes. And then he does it. It's unbelievable. It's. It, I can't handle it. Ah, uh, it's happening. Zaddy, can you go to a meeting today? For what? <laughs> Why don't I go to why yeah, like it's going to get to me again. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah it just it John annoys me so much. Type of question. Trick John with it. <laughs> and so John's big comeback is because Rocco hadn't shown his face before this. You know, he's Tukey. Right. He's El Harible. We haven't seen Rocco before. So we fi he finally revealed himself. Finally. He was, uh, dressed up as Gino Piscotti <laughs> on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. I mean, finally he revealed. Guys, it will get uh, to him in the chat. If you just keep mentioning Patrick sniping. Tell a little, you know, just tell lies that he has to refute because Chad loves to refute. He has to, like, if it's a lie, Chad will have to set the record straight. I don't care, you know, really, like, say whatever you want. Um, You're all right. Everybody's right on the Internet. Please get over there and keep saying, uh, you know, just sending a little, uh, you know, Melton said this, Melton sniping, Melton showing this. I mean, he, he will. It will get to him. He cannot ignore it. Computer. And his new computer has these built-in things. It. If he makes certain hand gestures. I want you to watch for it. You got to watch for this. This is going to be unbelievable. You got to watch for it. Oh, my God. John's so dumb. He's so dumb. <laughs> oh, boy. Roy, producer Chris. Oh, boy. Keep doing your thing. Have a great day. Thank you, my lost interest. I appreciate your work. We all do. You're watching garbage so we don't have to. So thank you very much. Chad's still going with this narrative that Boom. oh he also plays he loves playing memes that don't make any sense. 
Lost interest. Thank you for watching stuff so that we don't have to. Uh. Just makes no sense, but he has that clip, so he has to play it. Thank you for watching uh, so we don't have to. Damn! <laughs> like, it doesn't even make sense, but Chad only has three memes. He's got the gunshot sounds, the bra stick em, and now the new Friday. Damn! So he has to, again, he has to find a reason to play these. So inappropriate and, and, uh, reasons that don't really make sense are fine. You know, <laughs> it was so weird. Yeah, that's that. his broadcasting. That's my new favorite thing. I want him to do that Yikes. all the time. Do you kids like balloons? <laughs> <laughs> this show's really good. I mean, Carl, I, I, I'm sorry. You're right. Here we go. You're the only one. Keep the comments in the chat. He is, he is reading them. He is reading them. It does upset him. And by the way, even the ones over there on his side, like keep going. Don't let, don't pay attention to Melton chat. All this will get to him. Keep talking about the sniping. Keep talking. Uh, he will crack. He has to address it. We know. First of all, Chad can't ignore it because he doesn't have anything to move on to. When he fires up a show, all he has is hopefully the chat comes up with something. Hopefully the chat says something good. I got some old clips that everybody's already covered to go over, but dear God, that can only get me through my normal 28 minutes. I need the chat for another 15. On, but you're not a good looking guy either. I mean, none of these people. Why is he always talking about how good looking guys are? He's like, I'm not gay for him. He's ugly. That guy doesn't, he's not hot enough. It's like, why are you always talking about guys? Visually ugly. I mean, Gino's ugly. Wow. Chrissy Mayer is ugly. Steel Toe is ugly. Kumi is disgusting. He's just going through Elon's photos. Ugly. He just has these photos, so he has to I mean, do these it. Are, these are ugly people. Visually, they're ugly people, all of them. Says Chad as he looks like he has a mouthful of dimes, and he just keeps getting more grossly swollen. His gray. I mean, I've never seen gray coming faster on a man. I've never seen a man gray before our eyes faster. His beard is completely gray. Guy. We're just uh, talking about it before the show. That's yeah. his move. Chicks don't compliment chicks this much. Correct. Correct. Chad's always got some ideas about the physical appearance of men in his sphere. Think <laughs> on my wife. I was like. What the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> That's People were fact. comparing Hitman yeah. Dan's wife to the front cover of Black Sabbath's first album. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. I didn't even realize people were doing this. Um, Waver, thank you. Dime Card, thank you. Dan G, thank you. Thank God I was just about to tweet you. FYI, he's done with Melton and won't give you any more click. I know. I know. He's not going to know anything about me anymore. I expect to hear nothing out of Chad's mouth about Melton because he'll just be oblivious he's gonna be in the dark he's not gonna watch me anymore ah it's hilarious i didn't even know you were sniping me uh-oh here he goes that's so funny wow wow looks like uh you're not good at it looks like it's getting old it looks like the bit's getting boop, old boop, 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 boop. he's getting on like you literally had to go tell everybody to tell me you were sniping me. I didn't even, I was not even aware of it. He's getting on. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's what the fuck? Dan's wife. All John. right. Whatever you guys are doing is working. Keep it going in his chat. Bill from Jersey and Dalish will have to ban you all. <laughs> it needs oh. to be taken a task. Dude. Wow. He's still trying that. Wow. Good luck. It's not going to work. I'm not even going to bring it up. Wow. Melton sniping me. Wow. I don't even care. I'm not even going to talk about it. Wow. Melton sniping me. Wow. You're not good at it. Wow. <laughs> this is a Chad theory here. Yeah, boy. We talked about it in AC, but I, didn't, I haven't talked about it publicly. Lock it down. Members only, right, Chad? Uh, I don't know if I should say. Should uh, I? Ah, come on. Tell another fib. <laughs> oh, man. Should I? Should I? Should I say? Uh, I no, a, I'm not going to say. I have a scoop that I'm going to make up, but I haven't. We said something. 
I don't want to put it out there. There's too much shit out there. I haven't fleshed it out yet, but I'm thinking We're of go a ahead lie. And keep that one quiet. I'm thinking of a lie that I'm going to be telling. Very I don't want to be a gossipy soon. bitch like Ray and Stevie Lou. Yeah, Chad doesn't like to. I spread. mean, did you see him on MLC? They're just gossipy bitches. Chad's got a big scoop, but he's going to hold it to himself, everybody, because Chad really does hold on the information. Chad's not the kind of guy who runs to tell everything he knows the minute he knows it. A girl like Ray and Stevie Lou. He named name. Ray would disapprove. Chad's Chad. Is I'll say it sometimes. Faster someday. than in LO. Oh, is that head hair? Is that what <laughs> yeah, that? I, go over there and puff him up. Because because look, puffed up Chad is funnier. Be like, well, Melton can't snipe you. Melton has nothing. Melton can't get anything going. Melton needs you for content. Oh, wow. Chad just had ads playing for Verbo. He still doesn't have YouTube premium. Uh -oh, oh, he's tapping man. out. He's tapping so out. He's tapping out. He already put the clip away. See if I, oh, I, I skipped a couple of these. Is it 40 minutes already? <laughs> I skipped Based some. Portland, $5. The Reverend Joseph Samuel is your friend, Chad. Oh, this I'm is, uh, this is Joey C. An end to your consumption of that denom denomic spirit called Denomic Tito's. spirit. He said denomic. <laughs> oh, my God. He can't read. Chad is poor and Chad can't read. Oh, my God. Uh, Mr. Kill Everything, total piggy death. Go visit your local pig farm. So the clips keep coming over at Chrissy's uh, show. George. Big get. The other day, Chad said Stuttering she John stands on his tiptoes every show. time he has a picture taken. Go figure. Oh, Literally wow. Kumi on the show. Hold on. Chad said that Stuttering John stands on his tiptoes. It really is projection. Everything Chad says other people do, do he does. Everything Chad accuses other people of, he does. I didn't hear him say that, but if you can find me a clip or a timestamp on that, George, please, please, please shoot that over. Holy shit. I would love that. I would love that clip juxtaposed with him standing on his toes. The use of the term racist back in the 90s compared to now. Noticing the border invasion is called racist, even though Al Sharpton is calling it. Chad was named after Elvis. That's why his name is Chad, says Krautcat. Good point. Oh, no, we got a live one. <clears throat> Piggy, piggy, Chad, where are you? Your face is looking pretty fat. Piggy, piggy, Chad, where are you? Did you know Ray is 50? I'm 50. <laughs> Dan G. Patrick, uh, you want to drive Chad crazy? Release the Joe Howard part of the members only show as a free clip. I I I'm already ahead of you. That's coming out later today. And every Joe Howard story now will be held up to the sun. He blows. I don't. He doesn't. Here we go. I know you guys like. I don't believe care. What you want, but I don't care. He doesn't. He has no effect on me whatsoever. Zero. Zilch. Melton's nothing. Just because he takes over my show he every has time. No friends. He has to meet people online and overseas. He has no friends. He has to hang out with people overseas because he. He, li he fucking lives in Vegas, but he has no friends. So everything he says about me, it's just a projection of who he is. Have you ever heard somebody in their 50s say, talk about friends so much? I have friends. He doesn't have friends. He doesn't even have friends. The guy wishes he had friends. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard a grown man talk like this? He's so funny. <laughs> you're speaking your mind openly. It doesn't even mean you're racist. Uh, racist used to. Uh, kind of Melton doesn't even have friends. He has to hang out with people from other continents. What did he say? He has to hang out with people from other countries. <laughs> I have to. Uh, Sorry, Chad. I traveled the world doing comedy, and I made friends everywhere I went. So. I'm sorry that you don't have any international friends. Melton's in Hawaii. His life sucks. Anthony, <laughs> I gotta tell you, Anthony, you are staying. Melton had to go swim with humpback whales in Hawaii because he pissed off all the humpback whales in Vegas. <laughs> the whales in Vegas won't even hang out with Hawaii, but you know Melton has to go to Hawaii. Or, or in uh, Melton has to travel to other countries just to find marine life that can tolerate his bullshit. If I may uh, use the term, 
We got a thing. So the racists kind of the same thing. They will call you a racist for just mentioning things about race. Now I can't uh, play It's the easiest chats. way to try to get someone canceled. Is you'll, what it is. you'll get called a racist if the person you're uh, talking to feels like they're losing the argument. Yes, it, yes. It that. may not have anything. Hey, uh, Moody, you know, Tukey's chats keep showing up on my thing. And, uh, you know, yeah, we're going to have to have some better system here. Every other refresh, like I get two keys chats, even though it says nobody likes Sonya. I mean, come on with this. We're never going to be able to release to the public. It's just yapping it up, telling you how it is. It's nothing like hardcore Republicans. Like you know what's crazy is like the fact that he's still like attacking Kumia and Chrissy Mayer. This shows you how little he really has to talk about and content. Like... The fact is this, these dudes, Chrissy and, and, and uh, Kumia, these people, they do not know about Chad's existence. They don't talk about him. They don't do anything. And every day Chad has to come on and be like, why is Kumia podcasting? Why is Chrissy Mayer podcasting? It's like they have thousands of viewers when you have none. Why doesn't Ray quit? He makes more money than you. Melton's stupid. It's like, Chad, look around. You're the only one with no ideas. You're the only one who doesn't put any work into their show. You're the only one who does nothing to change their status. All Chad does is look around at everyone else and go, they all suck. They should quit. Meanwhile, every time you try to do something, it's fail fest 2024. You know, Chad, we watched you try to throw a thing together. You had, you had three months to throw this event together in AC. And then you uh, you blame it on everybody else. I got there. They weren't set up. Nobody had thought about anything. It's like, right, including you. What do you think? No one's going to think about it. It's your event. You expect them to give a fuck? Set up lighting, chairs, sound, take tickets, have security? You thought all that would just be provided for you based on what? Your 14 tickets sold? Jesus Christ, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to keep doing nothing and just sit there and go, everyone else should quit. This is awful. Everyone else should quit. This is bad. Everyone else should stop. This is, oh, this is shit. Again, Kumia and Chrissy, why are you covering them? You just, just because you have nothing else to do. They haven't talked about you. There's no news. There's nothing notable to even cover. It's just like, well, I've been doing this so long. I don't know what to do. So here's Chrissy's latest show. Uh... Insults are more and more. Gino said he sold 40 tickets, not 14. I, I, have, an, I have a count. It's not true. It's not true. There were, there were maybe 60 people there with the 40 at the bar. I mean, it's just not true. They sold 14 tickets. We have a count. Talking about something that is so blatantly obvious, right? Who talks about getting fired from SiriusXM more, Anthony or Opie? That's an honest question. Like, who talks about it's an honest getting fired question. from SiriusXM more? Anthony? Chad lies so much he has to tell you when his questions are honest. No, and this is the truth. Melton ran. I swear to God. Ask anybody. I swear to God. Melton ran. I got down there to lunch and I was like, where's Melton? And they were like, he took off. Yeah, he said it was a bad idea to run into Chad. Right, right. I swear to God. From Sirius XM, nonstop. Chad has to tell I mean, you when it's an honest question. Yeah. I said that there's a problem. Who talks about this more? No, honest question. No, really, honest question. It's viciously <laughs> racist. Uh, now you look and there's a problem with this jump to violence. Oh, God. Single mother of five is trying to get him to plug Hackamania for two bucks. Let's see. Oh, Godfrey literally worked at Sirius. Oh, this will be great. I, Chad, too, is like, open up your, your membership tabs. It's like, that's not a thing. <laughs> what does Chad think a membership tab is? <laughs> Anyone? Chad's like, uh, make sure your membership tabs are open. That way you can get a membership. It's like, what? That, uh, not yeah, if it's not open, you won't catch a membership, guys. Making something. Uh, yeah, he did. You know he did. No, he did. 
uh, of it, uh, like Compound Media. Uh, you look at something like Shane Gillis. For people who missed it, Bill from New Jersey just told Chad that Opie didn't get fired. And now Chad's arguing with him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, and she's like, ooh, the numbers. We're going to get a lot of clicks on this video, Frank. Because Anthony's talking about it. He was, at the last minute, told he couldn't be a cast member and writer for SNL because of some... So here's Crumb. This is why Crumb can never be involved in anything in this thing. You do have to turn on gifted memberships to receive them. It's like, no one's talking about that. I I, I love, I go like, uh, uh, you know, McDonald's value meals don't come with a toy. And then Crumb Bomb is going to go, happy meals come with a toy. It's like, no one's talking about that. But thanks. We're making fun of Chad not knowing what the fuck he's talking about. There, What is a membership tab? And why does it have to be open to get a membership? We're making fun of an idiot saying nonsense. So you piping up going, you can actually say words that make sense. No shit. No shit, fuck stick. <laughs> Chad gives a recipe for chocolate chip cookies and says put in arsenic and mud. And then you pipe up and go, you can make cookies if you do the right ingredients. Flour, butter, sugar, chocolate chip. No shit. Did you think I thought cookies weren't available? Did you think I thought there was no way to turn on gifted member? That's what I was saying. I was saying, Chad's so stupid. There's no such thing as gifted memberships. That's what I was saying. No, no. We're making fun of an idiot who can't talk or think. There's no such thing as a membership tab, and it doesn't have to be open to get a membership. That's what we're talking about. Keep the fuck up. Actually, if you turn, if you do go into settings and turn, no shit. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Done with me. He's not talking about me. The past two and a half weeks, that's all he's talking about again. No, it's no. not even as smart. Like, look, none of it matters. I don't care. But that is how, like, 50% of the people in the chat think. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it, it, I, I, it, it's bananas. It's bananas. So don't pretend like you got them. Don't pretend like you, you trolled me and baited me. No, 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 no. You really think like that. You were like, I better let Melton know that you you actually can turn on gifted. There is a way to do it. Oh, thanks. Thanks. So you, I guess pretend like you owned me and got me. We all know the truth. We all know the truth. Your autism made you speak up. That is the truth. Don't You can pretend like, no, no, I was trying to see if I could get Melton. No, you weren't. We all know better. We all know. And now they're down to Chrissy and Gino and Bill Schultz. I mean, it's not a good So showing. again, Chad telling you that like shows are doing bad, they don't have any viewers. It's like I this show started, you know, seven minutes ago for fun. Um, and we have four hundred viewers. Chad has a hundred. It's like, Chad, no one's worse. And and don't forget, Chad wants you to Venmo him all the time for these shows. It breaks my heart to say it, but that's what it is. There it is. All right, April, we got to do this Chad Zumok thing. And I know you're very excited for it, so I want to wait. I need you to get out here so we can do. Oh, she was upstairs? Where the? F Hold on. Is John's neglected cat here? Can we get an update on how much money Chad's made? Because that's great. One to your wife. We got to do this Chad Zumok thing. Get down here. We have to do this Chad Zumok. I love that Chad's making fun of Steel Toe for using him to stay relevant, and he doesn't recognize the same in himself. I love that. I've never met him. I'll remind everyone. They anyway, we'll be me. we'll be beating up Crumb Bum if he, if he comes out here to hack a mani. We'll be tying him down, and everybody gets to poke him with a stick.
<laughs> Aaron's real name. I do love Crumba, but I love a good rant more. And what they were doing. <coughs> but now they're back. They're back. I honestly thought I honestly thought that she was taking a long time in the bathroom. Oh, I was. I had to, I took my dress off. The fuck is April me. wearing a gi? Put her back on. Are you sure? Are you covering? Oh, you missed it. I should have done it right there, huh? You know, that would be nice. It's Valentine's. Sometimes you just need a mirror. It's fucking Valentine's. A mirror. Little mirror. Uh, Nana's Clam says you both have terrible Sometimes t- you need a little mirror. Oh. You don't know. Like, the things I mention here is not, like, my end-all, be-all of music. And- April back. does like some good music. Like, yeah. when she likes her 90s country and t- early 2000s country and shit like that, she likes some very good what music. What about my rock music? Are you kidding me? So a lot of her rock music is good. A lot of it's gay, but a lot oh, of it's good. Oh, God. A lot of it's good. What's April's She's rock music? The guy who rocks out to eric church alone like movies entire uh ipod mini is filled up with just solo male country artists and i don't know if there's anything gayer eric rock music ever it's like she's like a programmer for a radio rock station this is what they play kind of like a lot of stone shit. double you- pilots man i mean this girl has some i mean she has some variety I mean, she's got selections. Stone Temple. I listen to everything. Stone Chicken, Temple Pirates, the Chip Peppers, Foo Fighters. I mean, everything. Stone Temple Pilots, Foo Fighters, and the Chili Peppers. These are Chad's top bands of today. Uh, three Doors Down. Three Doors Down. I listen to everything, man. Chili Peppers, Foo Fighters, everything. Just Oh, April named one Wu-Tang album. What a basic bitch. I don't know what album names. Why do you have to know the album names? Yeah, because well, when you're Roots and you're a, you're a hip-hop snob. See, that's rude, though. Like, it's... I'm not going to fight with Homo. <laughs> I'm not fighting with you. I thought you were I'm... fighting with Roots. Oh, Roots. I'm sorry, I'm not fighting with Roots. Is that who that was? You know, I, I get them all screwed up because they're all a bit testy. Seven Mary Three. Somebody, somebody sent a text that said, since you're wearing an answer. So this is what Chad has. Basic free chat. So Chad's got to put up free chats that are like crosstalk. This is my impression of Chad. LMAO. <laughs> yeah. Never be a lady, right? <laughs> right? I can take many pokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hits, right? LMAO, I already did that one. A pointy stick, right? Bill Clinton. Probably not the real Bill Clinton. He just has burgers, I guess. Right? <laughs> LMA, I already did that one. <laughs> That's Chad. It's like, it, it, there's nothing. I'm not kidding. There's nothing there. It's it's not even like it's not like we pick up where we left off. Like guys, last time we were talking about Chrissy, she was doing this. It's just like, no, Chrissy did a show, so we're gonna watch it and make fun of it. I don't have a clip. I don't have anything funny. I don't have a specific thing to watch, but we'll watch it for seven minutes. See if I can think of something funny to say. I probably won't be able to. So I'll take it off the screen, yell at Melton for a minute, and um, you know, this will be up later. It's like that is the full extent of Chad Zumok's thoughts. Uh, thank you for joining Chad Zumok. We really appreciate you. Gina Bagig. Melty, 38 ticks was the exact number. I can show you text. Um Well, people do buy them all by text, so that would be proof. Uh Joseph Collins, I just tune in and Melton. I just tune in Melton and it's already classic. It, do you understand how pathetic it is even to sell 40 tickets? Like, I'm sorry. Again, if I'd only sold 40 tickets for Hackamania so far, it'd be embarrassing. So you had two and a half months. Not only did you not sell tickets, you didn't put any thought into the gig until 30 minutes before it. So eat my ass, suck my dick. You're all, it, it's pathetic, sad shit. And by the way, I, again, I have nothing against Gino or Keanu specifically per se i've never met them and don't know them 
The fact that you call yourselves pro-comics and do not give any fucks into thinking about the room, the setup, the organization, the operations, the logistics of it, it's pathetic. It's pathetic, and it shows how much you give a fuck to charge 25 tickets. You know? So, like, okay, let's go with your numbers. You made $800. You made $800 not giving any fucks about the people coming to the show. You you, you didn't attempt to set up a good show at all. It's, it's really bad, man. And you know I'm right. There's nobody, there's no real comic who calls himself a pro comic who knows I'm not right. The audio was shit. The video was shit. The room wasn't set up right. It wasn't policed. Everyone didn't respect the other comics. You know I'm right. There's no argument. But they had fun. Right. Right. So, again, the priority was on them having fun, them going out for steak, them having a dinner, not on you getting your money's worth for a show. And, and if you argue anything else, like, no, it was good. We It was actually everything was okay. Then you're a lying liar any pro comic would go we, we did drop the ball on the setup and logistics of that because you've done shows before right you've been in clubs you know how it's supposed to work no 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 we nailed it we sold 38 tickets everybody got a great show okay okay <laughs> i mean i you just know you're full of shit about that come on come on behavior Dickheads, I yeah, thought we seems, were pals. That does seem weird, right? My friends don't want to tell me how their show went. Yeah, here he goes. The only one but, complaining uh, about it is so, you. It's like, and everyone who was there on Kevin's show said it was shit. Everyone who was there who was on our show said it was shit. Everyone who was there said the show was a clusterfuck. But you keep patting yourself on the back for it. It's it's how you look. When I drop the ball, when something doesn't go right, when 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 it's a failure, you you gotta admit it. So you doubling down and going like, it was awesome. Everybody had fun. It was great. The show was set up right. Everybody thought exactly the appropriate amount about it. Who cares if people talked during the whole thing? Who cares if the chairs weren't set up right? Who cares if the audio sucked? Who cares if the lighting wasn't right? Who cares, Melton? Correct. Correct. Who? Who? Nobody. That's right. You're correct. Nobody cared. So again, if you're happy with it, I get you know, I guess great. I guess. If you're happy with it, that's all that matters. If you think it was great and that's one of the best shows you've ever done, and that's what you're proud to put out there and produce, okay. But you are telling everybody you're essentially telling everyone your standards, which are rock bottom. It wasn't good. It wasn't set up right. No, you talked during Chad's whole set. We heard you. Chad talked during your whole set. We heard it. No, you're the only one who thinks it was bad. Okay. Again, okay. Sell it again next month. Get it, get it going. If everybody loved it and it was such a great deal and you made so much money, remember? Remember you made $1,000 on it. Even though the, the tickets sold were 800 and you had to pay four comics, but you made a grand. So I can tell it's a good business model. So show us, Gino. I mean, what a fucking clown. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Again, I don't know you from jack shit, but the fact that you just keep serving yourself this spoonful of bullshit is insane. <laughs> no, it's great. Everybody loves it. Smorgasbord oh. of... Oh, okay. This is it's like all of them. the greatness of MLC right here. This is why you and I used to listen to MLC religiously. To watch a bunch of middle-aged men bitch. I was a little surprised to see Mike Morse's name thrown in here, though. Because who really thinks about Mike Morse? Isn't he the part least of defensive? Shuley's? By the way, did you see the uh, did you see the clip of them going like, ah, uh, oh, we're, we're we're gonna throw an event with Shuley Network and and uh, Gino? He's uh, he's talking about doing his own hackamania. So I, I really hope this takes off. I hope it's not just an idea in a young movie's head. Who You know, this is a guy we're talking about who can't afford to put hats in his store. <laughs> he's like, one day we'll be able to afford hats. But now he's thinking about throwing an event where he's going to invite the Shuley Network people and Gino Bisconte to do a show in bumfuck Minnesota. 
You know, they'll call it Toa Mania or something. And then, you know, it'll be it'll be dope. And then, you know, he'll have to apologize to Shuli for upsetting them and stuff. But, you know, come on. Because he was, like, pulled a... Didn't he... That's the problem with this world. Everyone just recklessly talks. They don't fact check. They don't look into anything. They don't look in context. They don't look at backstory. Some people put our money where our mouth is. Some people sell tickets for an event for two months, and then they get there, and it hasn't been thought about uh, at all. Again, you should be fucking embarrassed. You call yourselves pro comics and just allow that to happen. Oops. Oops. We forgot to think about it. Oops. Fuck. Is anyone going to handle lighting or sound? Anybody got a karaoke machine? Because that's what you ended up using, a karaoke machine. Cringe a little. Recalibrate a little and go, ah, yeah, it wasn't the best. No, no, just fuck yeah. That's how that's how comedy clubs do it. There's a karaoke machine. The lighting is even throughout the room. The house lights and the stage lights are the same. No, Melton, what's wrong with you? It's like okay, okay, losers. <laughs> Tell me you've never worked. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying when you're like, no, everything at that show was perfect. It's like none of it was thought about. Yeah, that's the way we me even be do. like, hey, yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah, Bob and I would talk on the phone. Uh, when did Chad leave MLC? Again, I'd be I'd be fucking embarrassed. So yeah, run it back and do it again. I guess clowns. I mean, you're fucking dumb. Like even if you sold forty tickets, that means Ken Mosca had to uh, shell out of pocket at least a grand to pay everybody. So tell us more how how uh, successful it was. You fucking clowns. Ashley LaRue, if it wasn't for my NDA, I'd really be able to spill the beans. However, you were very accurate in your assessment of this movie character. Thank you, Ash. He's already moving on. It's meant to cause fights, it looks like. Which Joseph Collins, like I listened to Beatles, Kiss, Slayer, Def Leppard, Cannibal Corpse, and Mayhem. Also, 50s doo-wop groups my parents uh, listened to growing up. We're obviously into. Paul Parady, you seem cranky, Patrick. Do you want some fun? I'm in a great mood. I'm in a great mood. I just like, again, Gino, I've seen clips of him working like real clubs back when he was, when he was like a, trying to be a real comic. And even Chad's worked in real clubs. The You know, remember the weekend nobody can take away from him a couple weekends ago? It's like, you've been in rooms where the audience is paying attention, where the lighting is right, where the sound is right, where they check tickets where there's not just 40 people standing around who don't want to see the show just talking. You've done that. You've done that. So you want to pretend like this was the same and this was fine? Okay. Okay. You're right. You know a year ago he would have been angry and started screaming because Kevin said that. Yeah. And no, now Melton. We meant to not check anything. We meant for it to be chaos. We meant 30 minutes after showtime to be running around hooking up a karaoke machine, idiot. That's how you do a comedy show. <laughs> uh, single Mother 5, Chad skipped my super chat about Hackamania. It's like, couldn't you at least pull it up and talk about it for content? Then I would have super chatted him more. Yeah, I mean, look, Kevin and Chad are both in places now where they skip super chats they don't like. The only reason I'm ever skipping your super chat is if it's something they can get me fucking... Uh, in trouble you know don't dox anybody in your super chat we should be golden eddie valentino i doubt shuli would do anything with aaron uh ever since the joke on shuli that aaron told that shuli making fun of aaron uh not making fun. well remember he's like he's a he can't help it he's a nazi or sorry he's a jew <laughs> just like the most insane shit um but by the way, that lets you know. That lets you know, uh, Pulper, thank you for the gifted membership. Gino thinks that gig was great. Gino thinks that gig was fine. So now you know, if you ever want to go to another Chad Zumacher, Gino Bisconte gig, they consider that success. Not having a sound system, not, not having any lighting. Oh, boy. Hello? Hey, Pat. This is George. Hi, George. I, I found the clip. It's on um, MLC's Patreon. And I don't know how to clip that to send it to you, but I can play it over the phone if you want to hear it. You found a clip of what? Of, of the clip of um, Chad saying that Stuttering John stands on his tiptoes every time he takes a picture. 
Uh, yeah, just email it. Email it. I can. How do I do it on Patreon? I can do that. Oh, I don't have Chad's Patreon, so I won't be able to watch it. Just send me what right. show it is and how far into it. It should be on YouTube too. <laughs> no, he takes it down. All right. Well, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I can't play it over the phone for you. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Yeah, this is why I don't do that. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just hang on. Yeah, I got nothing to do. We'll just wait. Hungry. Oh, Jesus. You might have to jump off. We, I don't think we can handle drunk and hungry, Chad. I, listen, I would love to see what that is I'm like. I'm afraid. Fuck that up. Because I never went to Terminal. The M60 bus, 25th Street. The M West when I... Oh, I thought it was when you... We, I don't think we can handle drunk. Slowly becoming a... Okay, oh. thank you. Great, great stuff. Just thinks how he wants to think. <laughs> This was never it. Been screaming because Kevin said that. Yeah. And now he's going, yeah, motherfucker, I killed that shit. Get m- holla at Mike Fig. I will give him this. He got laid a couple times from his name. The onions are sniping. You. I sent a strike. Whoa! Uh, no, I got two people that struck his channel already. I, I Whoa! Just brought it up. My so, channel's been struck. I'm I didn't to- even know. <laughs> I got two people who struck him already. Fuck. Win. <laughs> Yeah, two people already struck uh, past Shit. Channel, so I'm just going to keep going until uh, this, hopefully the strikes go in. Yeah. yeah. He's got yep. some confidence. His we'll stay on air until he goes down or we reach the 48-minute mark, whichever comes first. <laughs> here we go. He's up the back door. To- Chad's going to go all day. We'll, be, we'll all be here to watch Melton's show come down. Don't worry oh, about it. I'm rooting for Chad to fuck Kate Meany in the end. To ass. start rooting around in the butt, right? Yeah. Open. Okay. You think Chad's got yes. a good dick? No. But I think I, it I, works. Do you think Chad has a good dick? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I mean, I how know. horned up is this woman? I mean, she is just a horny, horny fucking bitch. What is going on? She's. You think Chad is good dick? Moody, I got super tips popping up. I hit play. They don't play. I refresh. They disappear because they're two keys. Hello? The fuck? There once was a little piggy that used to thrive on a podcast of misery, but now he drowns in hot water from a steel toe boot like a stuttering meanie. I mean, do you think we're going to we're going to roll this out to people where you can see other people's chats and they don't do anything? <laughs> Fuck. Dan G, Chad's eyes in those glasses look like the comical Asian eyes that are imprinted on the glasses. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Someone's life. <laughs> it, was, it was an oil can. Yeah, he literally smashed someone in the head with an oil can. They hit the bar stool on their way down and broke their neck. God, these guys are such hacks. Neck, like uh, Hillary Swank and Million Dollar like Quad Father. They just find like the easiest internet jokes and they run with it. Baby. Wow. And Chad Ted- really does have the vocabulary of a stunted eight year old. He's got run with it. <laughs> Not good. Bad. Terrible. He really has nothing to say. <laughs> Let April know. Okay, let's let April know that. Uh, Bino Gisconte. Someday I'd love to stream with you, Melty, and discuss. You're definitely right, but I don't think you understand what I am. No worries, love, Melty. I, I look. I, I you're right. I, I don't know you from jack shit. I know what I've been told about you. You're not allowed in any clubs. Um. You don't tour. You don't really do anything outside of the New York area. Except for movies, show. I mean, I'm not wrong, right? I'm not wrong. You know, I was at the point where I was headlining like eight eight clubs when I when I tapped out. You know, it's like, what am I? Uh, eight weeks a year, I'm gonna go headline. I'm gonna go Oklahoma. I'm gonna go Iowa. I'm gonna go Florida. It's like, why? Why? So, from what I understand, you work. Am, am I wrong? You work less clubs than that. You don't have full weekends where you go do stuff. And even if you do, they're like, again, like tiffs and stuff. Like, those aren't real, right? They're not real clubs. 
And again, you defending this show is all I need to know. It's all I need to know. You th- you keep going. This show was great. Everyone had fun. It was perfect. We 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 executed. Okay, agree to disagree. I'm not. You know, you're allowed to do it. I, I would never purchase a ticket to anything you were responsible for in my life based on that, based on the fact that that went like that, and you keep and you're defending it. That's that's all I'm saying. Cla- it's clown shit. It is clown shit. <laughs> For real. Your mama. So, I mean, I, we just have different standards. I, I'd, be, I'd be mortified and embarrassed if I had two months and walked into the venue 30 minutes before thinking security, lighting, sound, tickets, chairs. It's all going to be ready for Big Daddy Biscante. It ain't. It ain't. Pulper 80, thank you for the sticker. B Smiley, thank you for the sticker. Appreciate it. PYB, Gino ain't got no melt. I mean, it's just standard. It's just, again, I'm doing this hack of anything literally pretty much all by myself. I have one person kind of helping me out with some legwork for venues and stuff. If you think I'm not already running around doing sound and signage and banners and internet and streaming and tickets and security and who's going to do it. If you don't, who's done. Yeah. I guess just show up. I guess just show up. Whatever happens. Cool. Yell success. Even though no one could hear the show at all. Even though the acts were dog shit. Who can we get on? Anybody we can get on, we'll put on. Right, right. That's the di- yeah. We're we're just different guys. You'll eat a plate of dog shit, <laughs> and and call it call it you know ribeye and rosé. Uh, I won't. I won't. You just sniped yourself getting a strike. There should be an award for that accomplishment. I know. Uh, Ryals. Ryal. Uh, five gifted memberships. Good to see people are saying like Ryals is turning on the BS or on the uh, Shuli network. It's like everybody's so fucking tribal, man. It's like I, I, he probably just likes both, and that's the end of it. Yeah, well, we're gonna attack him if he really likes. In conversation, he was. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He was. <laughs> Hold on, so Chad is watching Steel Toe watch MLC. We're watching Chad watch Steel Toe watch MLC. Ugh. Good. Fuck off, Gustav. It was. <laughs> Three applause breaks? Go fuck yourself, liar. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Applause breaks. Wait, wait, wait. Chad admitted he got applause breaks for yelling skull. So really high bar for applause breaks. Also, Chad got applause breaks in his special after saying, please clap. So do those count? Three applause breaks? Easily. At, at a, in a 10-minute set. Man, yeah, no. I did. That's true. Easily. Send Gustav the link. Yeah, send, yeah come on and Gustav, come on. I mean, probably. <laughs> wants it. Chad wants it. Chad's ready to go. He's a little buzzed in the middle of the afternoon. He knows he made New York his bitch. I have a question. Yeah. So- I love I love that like Steel Toe needs Chad now. So they have to kind of like be playful with Chad because they're trying to get Chad on. As if Chad's gonna forget about everything. First of all, Chad might. And Chad also needs to be relevant. So I uh, my prediction is Chad eventually will do something with Steel Toe. Losers need losers. Losers need other losers. Chad will get to a point where he's like, fuck, only 100 people watch me getting sniped by Melton. I better I better do something to stir shit up. Steel Toe knows their numbers are in the tank. They need Chad. They need a little dabble versus magic. Um, But I don't know if it goes the other way around. I don't know. Hello? Hello? Batman, Chad couldn't find his way out of a paper bag. Fuck! <laughs> Wait. Wow, that's fucking brutal. <laughs> Talking about just be quiet. Um, so he wanted his set recorded because yes. he'd never done one before. So right. I recorded it, and I ended up having to send it to him. Clearly, his set was like fucking 
swear to fuck, like, no, you were in there a little bit. 20, this was probably was like, like 20 something minutes because yeah. the whole thing was 30. This chat is getting dirty, man. I'm keeping it. I just I pop it in every now and then. You're talking about wetness, dick size. Wow. Jesus Christ. I had yeah. you in there kind of jesting him at the end for yeah. a while. It's, um, I, I was telling Nick this the other day. I'm like, look, that did really well in front of our audience. And it will always do really <laughs> yeah. well in front of our audience. And he's like, oh, so like I'm a comedian. I get my comedianship now. I go, no. Because if you would have done that set at like a bar that does comedy night. Comedianship. I get my comedianship. He would have thrown you the fuck off stage. <laughs> they would. Chad just repeats stuff and doesn't comment on it. Asshole. Like the headliner would have been pissed. The feature guy would have been. The headliner would have been pissed. The headliner would have been pissed. That's Chad. He just repeat. Like, did you have a comment about the comedian chip thing or? You go after Steel Toe. Gino will go after you. Why are you sabotaging your Gino connection? Because Gino. Li- if you're a grown ass man and you say you can't hang out with somebody because someone doesn't like it, who gives a fuck? You know, you think Gino's going to like, just because he's friends with him, I don't like him. I got to be friends with him. I mean, it's just, well, who thinks like that? I, uh, the reason it's like me G- saying, oh, I, I can't. The reason Gino has to yell and like, you know, go on. It's like, I, I, I imagine it's traumatizing. Imagine being part of the Kumia network for like however long Gino's been on there. You know, I don't even know. Five years, eight years. I have no idea how long Gino's been there. He's established, right? And like you're, you know, you're. Pay- First of all, again, he's not even paid a living wage. Like you can't really even afford to like just live on what Kumia pays for that. And if you do, you know, it's in New York City, so it's not. It's not a good life. You're you're saving nothing. You're, and then you're told like, no, but at least you're on this popular network, this Kumia network. And I I have some research that I that I did that I never released back when I first got into this world about traffic on the Kumia network compound media website, and this includes app traffic. The numbers would, would it, I'm not, I can't even say them because you'll all say I'm a liar. If I told you how little traffic compound media gets, you would all call me a liar. If I told you the number of people who log into compound media every week or every month, monthly, if I told you that number, a couple hundred. You'd call me a lot. You'd go, no fucking way. But when you see the talent go do their own thing, where are the people if it's thousands, if it's... How come Gino can't get 100 people to watch him do anything if thousands of people enjoy his content on Compound? The only person who gets any traction outside of that world, that that walled garden, um, is Chrissy Mayer. And that's only because she has porn stars and panels of 19 people on, including presidential candidates. You know, again, it's like BYB with a publicist, right, Gino? Wouldn't you wouldn't you accidentally get some trickle over? So these guys these guys constantly have to swallow this bitter pill and cope with these li- like all right man keep thinking compound doesn't have anybody. It's like oh we will. <laughs> we will. Until they show up for something we will. Remember the live events a couple years back, the the baseball stadium? Yikes. Yikes. I'm sure they just weren't available that day. The throngs of fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. They probably just can't figure out YouTube. 
Forget the fact that for over a year, the website for Compound Media linked to a just a random guy's YouTube. It said, click here for Compound Media YouTube. You click it, it went to just a guy's YouTube and a vacation video. He had one video up. It was a vacation video. And it had nothing to do with Compound Media. And it was just the wrong guy. For a year. For a year, the schedule on the Compound Media homepage. New for 2022. That's what it said in the middle of 2023. It said new lineup for 2022. On the front fucking page. Compounded, <laughs> pun intended, by the fact that there's banner ads all over the place. Like, what year are we in? No one over there knows anything about any. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They have all this equipment. The fact that they went out and bought these TriCasters and shit. It's like, but no one pays attention. It's like anybody could tell that their cameras aren't focused. The lens probably hasn't been washed off. It's all dirty. It's all foggy and fuzzy. You know, God forbid you upgrade them to 4K in 2024. No, no, no. The ones he bought in 2014 are fine. Those cameras look great. The background's sharp. All the people are blurry. You got the green spillover on everybody. I mean, it's, just, it's a disaster. No one's paying attention. And you can sit there and go, Melton, who cares about all these little details? It's like, nobody. That's my point. Nobody. No one's paying attention. One of me could replace 10 people over there just based on diligence and having open eyes. They're all just like, why everything looks good. We'll come in today. We'll turn it on. We'll come in tomorrow. We'll turn it on. We'll come in the next day. We'll turn it on. We don't need to ever change anything, upgrade anything, try. As a matter of fact, we'll get lazier over time. We'll stop doing prep. We'll just keep, we'll invite strangers in. We'll see what happens. Like Chad, it's just like, why plan anything? Chrissy's got a new show. I've got a whole, I got some hot sauce to hold up. Let's go live and just. See what happened. You're like, wh dude. You okay, know so how did it go? How did it go? People, I know people. I know that that aren't t t don't take sides. Said it was not. It's not. Was not a good setup. It was not conducive. No, this is no, um. It's not conducive. It's not conducive, Kevin. You didn't use that word right, because it has to be conducive with something. Yes, you can't uh, just say, "Hey, that thing what? was not conducive." That's an incomplete. It's sentence. a teaching right. moment. Yeah. It's implied. You fucking idiot, uh, everybody. But I want. Is, is it weird that I'm now at a point where I'm like. Kevin, shut up. Let Chad talk. No, I'm there, too, because uh, Kevin's kind of a broken They record. want Chad so bad to come back on their show. And, and my prediction is he will. Again, Chad has nothing going on. He will go on. Chad acts like he's too good to go on Steel Toe. He, mark my words. I'll take any and all action. It was terrible. It was a shit bar gig. We had to do stand-up, and, and we did it. But Melton it. and these fucking Pat Dixon, these former comics, these losers... <laughs> They judged it like I was doing my Netflix special. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to survive up there. Mother we saw your special, too. That also bombed. You begged for applause. And it was 28 minutes. <laughs> so you going like, these guys act like it was my special. Yeah, we also saw your special. It was the same jokes. You bombed. It also had, had 50 fucking people in the room. And you begged for applause there, too. So, I mean, we can go over your special, but on, I, it's I, I had to stop it. We don't have camaraderie. We don't have a thing. Where's John's neglected cat? Can I get a total on what Chad's made on this show, please? I'm so happy that Aaron is a fan. I'd be willing to bet Dan G's twenty dollar comment is more than Chad made the whole show. <laughs> Again, I'll remind everyone, I never met these people. I don't meet people online. I don't go look. You did threaten to rape one of them, though, right? Just checking. I'm just checking. I know you haven't met them, but you did threaten to rape April, correct? John said he'll have the numbers as soon as he's done. We don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Applaud me and praise me. It's gross. <laughs> Sounds like. Chad doesn't want applause unless he's doing a special. Then he's like, clap, please. Go sign up to the Patreon, everybody. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Guys, why aren't you Patreon. signing up for more of this? Sit down, Zumok. 
All right. It's plug time already? Oh, no. I mean, who likes cock more, Gina or April? Are you circumcised, Chad? Chat wants to know. Yes. Yes. Please let everyone know I am. Spread the word. Jesus. You guys are all horned up in here. Everyone's horned up. Who knew Chad, what we Gino, uh, what Keanu, we... everybody was going to come hang out at the Borgata for one hour and then leave? Uh, <laughs> like, thanks, man. Thanks. Oh, no, he's done. He's done. They can't get enough dick. <laughs> Where does he get listen this Listen to this music? song at the gym today. I was on the treadmill. Had it on a seven incline, running at 6.5 miles per hour to this song. Chad's all about the metrics. Yeah. We learned I have HPV. Every guy has HPV. Fact. Woo! Don't get it twisted. That's my catchphrase. The Mudshock origin story rivals Spider-Man and has deep roots with steel toe. Oh, that's my real fan, Stella yeah. B. Yeah. We learned that I killed at the stand. We learned Meld has no original ideas. Wow. Shots fired. These are the people he hangs out with. I couldn't name one person in that picture. Two from Vegas to Atlantic City on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, that is true. I did go on Super Bowl Sunday. We learned April hasn't forgiven her dad. We learned Kate Meany's still a fan, even with her fat arms. We learned April wants to replace Karen with Chad. Wow. You think he has good talk? We learned April has bad taste in music, and boy, does she. Basic. Talk about using your fans for content. He's just putting up their chats. This is what he does the whole show. Stella B says hi. Flat Cat says Mud Shark Army. What did we learn? Please, guys, type something good. We learned Melton has no good ideas. We learned today that Patrick can't pay 10% of the Las Vegas boxing commission. What? I mean, it is funny. Like he didn't I even, said, hold on, he didn't class, even read that one. And he just yanked the deal right off the table just like that. I was like, all right. <laughs> First class broke him. I'm like, wow. Hold on, the music's there over, Chad. Kenya Kanye. Ken- all right, guys. Kenya Thanks Kanye. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, with Tony. Yeah, fuck yes. We That'll be up. Um, Will that be up? We still haven't uh, done Mondays with Mazer since we got back from uh, from Atlantic City, New York. You haven't done a Mondays with Mazer in I forever. Think we're supposed to do it Monday night, but I changed my flight around. Anyways, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. On behalf of me and my my whole operation here, we thank you so much. Holy shit! Call me as cucks, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Can you believe it? I mean, I just like. How could someone have less to offer? He's literally just like, I got to go live because that's what I've seen podcasters do. They go live. What are you going to talk about, Chad? I got nothing. I got nothing. But I do want to go live and make $30. We're going to have the numbers here from uh, John's Neglected Cat any minute. I hope those come pouring in. Mondays with Mazer, guys. Mondays with Mazer. O'clock. Dinner at 5 o'clock. It was going to be myself, Tony Mazer and his wife, Gino and Keanu, Ken Mosca, and Bill from Jersey. And uh, we were meeting at the, God, what's. Come on. 
There ain't no way he's turned this off already. Then uh, we were going to have dinner at 5 o'clock. Dinner at 5 o'clock. It was going to be myself, Tony Mazur and his wife, Oof. Gino and Keanu, Ken Mosca, and Bill from Jersey. And uh, we were meeting at, uh, God, what's the name of the place? What's the name of the place? It's called, it doesn't really matter, but let's just put it out there. And by the way, it's not like you guys are going to come, you know, it's already been done. The well, dude, take take two minutes to figure it out, though, since nobody's going to come and it doesn't matter. Please take two minutes. Atlantic City Bar and Grill. I, the only reason I want to give them a shout out because their fucking food was phenomenal. Hold on. So he's bragging about this dinner at some place called the Atlantic City Bar and Grill. The Atlantic City Bar and Grill. It sounds generic. Can we pull up a menu? Atlantic City Bar and Grill. Holy shit. That can't be it. <laughs> oh, no. No. Fuck yeah. I got to give him a shout out, man. It was like a, it was like a fucking. It looked like a Chili's inside. They had signs on the wall. License plates. Not real ones, you know, but like funny ones. Atlantic City Bar and Grill. This is the fancy dinner they went out to. There's ashtrays on the tables. Oh, no. Hey, can you tell Look me at this sh Look at this shit box. <laughs> tell me where the Atlantic City Bar and Grill is? Sure. It's right on the corner of Pacific. Fuck, yes. In South Carolina Avenue. In 40 years, we've transformed our family-owned pizza. Ho, <laughs> ho. There's a mirrored drop ceiling. Chad is coming all over the place about this. We went to this great, great place. Plastic tablecloths. Again, you know, Bentley and me and Tukey and Bentley's wife all went out to the nice steakhouse inside the Borgata. Very, very nice. You know, you know. I think we had we had eighty dollar fillets and you know, cloth tablecloths, things like this. Chad got taken to a swinger restaurant. You're not kidding. This looks like somewhere where Steel Toe has their has their shows. Wood panel walls, TVs everywhere, green plastic tablecloths with bottles of ketchup. On the table. Ashtrays and ketchup. Yum. Oh, is that a plastic salt and pepper shaker? Dope. Are these shiny nylon green tablecloths available for purchase in the gift center? I mean, this again is a pizza hut. The people in here are wearing Bluetooth. <laughs> Look at this. Look at it. The creme de la creme of the business community is in here taking calls, doing business. They've got Hampton Bay residential ceiling fans. Not commercial. These are the ones you could buy yourself at Lowe's for $29 and install. They're so old. The blades are a different color. Who cares? Who cares? You'll be distracted by the mirrored ceiling can't see the tv from where you're sitting don't worry stare up at the ceiling where are mirrored strip club tiles <laughs> will surely reflect a big game <laughs> what the fuck again i don't have a problem eating at a place like this this was their planned dinner where they got reservations to go eat you know ken mosk is taking us out for a nice dinner Plastic tablecloths. 
mirrored fuck ceiling, Hampton Bay fans. <laughs> oh no, the numbers are in. The numbers are in. Fuck, they scrolled by too fast. It looked bad. It looked bad. I saw 30 something dollars. 30 something dollars. 37.95 Chad Zumach. That's gross. That's gross. 37.95 for Chad Zumach. After uh who knows what the what the net is. Oof. And then this is the video they made to go like Hey, it's not your granddad's uh, Atlantic City Bar and Grill. We've redone the place. You're going to like the way you look. You're going to like the way you look. That guy's actually in there eating right now. Hey, can you tell me where the Atlantic City Bar and Grill is? This guy's on like an ASMR mic. Hey, can you tell me where the Atlantic City Grill and Bar is? I bet you can. Hey, can you tell me where the Atlantic City Grill and Bar is? Ask your dad. It's down there on the corner of Pacific and South Carolina. Hey, can you tell me? Could you? Could you possibly even know? Would you begin to begin to think about? You'll never believe who's dining here tonight. It's Gino Bisconti. They should be at the venue right now. Checking it out, setting it up, making sure there's audio. But believe it or not, they're in here eating crab cakes. <laughs> sure, it's right on the corner. <laughs> Look at that sign. Ah, there's a clock. There's a clock. Like the bank. But what temp is it? I know what time it is. Dinner. But what's the temp? <laughs> Look at this. Fuck. Even the chick on the sign that they drew, that's a cartoon, has droopy tits. A clock. You're late for your reservation. <laughs> Corner of Pacific and South Carolina Avenue in 40 years. Hold on, was that Comic Sans? Sure, it's right on the corner of Pacific. That is Comic Sans. That's how you know comics eat there. In South Carolina Avenue in 40. Look at these bus bench waiting area. Is your table not ready? Perhaps you'll like to wait in our exclusive lobby where we have hostile architecture so the homeless can't camp out. Just scrape off the pigeon shit and sit on the bench seats we stole from the park. I mean, these are public park bench seats in their lobby. <laughs> oh, no. Everywhere you stop and look, it gets worse and worse. The steak was some of the best in town. The years we've transformed. Look at that bench. There's no way to spin it. There's no way to spin it. Our family owned pizzeria. Our family owned pizzeria. Ken Mosca took us out for steaks at the finest pizzeria in town. Well, not the finest pizzeria, but. Ken Mosca took us out for steaks. At a pizzeria. <laughs> in South Carolina Avenue. In 40 years, we've transformed our family-owned pizzeria into one of the top five places to visit when you come to Atlantic City. One of the top five places to visit. Family-owned pizzeria into one of the top five. <laughs> Look at these guys. This is cool, man. This is fucking cool. You're going to want to visit here. Not a woman in sight. Ladies, you'll feel safe as you stare at our Jägermeister street sign and its reflection in our mirrored ceiling. Don't mind the birdcage. <laughs> That's for later. What 
in the fuck? This is the steakhouse. This has the lovely bones. So don't go digging in his backyard. Five places to visit when you come to Atlantic City. It's a long time. Uh, Gino, you're from New York City. Be honest. When you got taken out to this place and saw their 13-inch tube TV behind the bar, did it raise any red flags? You know, a security camera on either side, 13-inch tube TV mounted under the bar like a 90s microwave. Dope, dope, dope. If you're from New York City and you got taken to this place as if it's a nice steakhouse, wouldn't you laugh? Tell me you didn't laugh when you walked in after Moscow was like, guys, it's on me. It's on me. We're, we're the table next to the CRT. Happy hour specials, bar only. It's always great when somebody busts out the label maker, the label baby junior, and starts putting rules on the TV bezels. It's always a sign of a classy place. I was in the high limit slots area and, and all around the TVs, they had like rules written. So really, really, what a shithole. What a shithole. There's just loose bottles of liquor, red solo cups, paper, TV remotes. Look how dusty this fucking thing is. Here's some empty margarita machines they hope to fill up one day should they ever get customers in here. What a great steak. No, the show was good. The show was perfect. We... No, that's how we wanted it, Melton. You're dumb. You would have got there ahead of time. You would have checked it out. You're dumb, Melton. I'm favorite for locals, tourists, and celebrities. Celebrities, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, just the other day, we spotted comedian Chad Zuma. Belly up to the bar. To stop by between shows. Oh, no. When there's laminated menus... With cloth holders, that's always good. I love it when the when the uh, borders of the menu and the and the laminated holders, like this red part. I love it when that's like fabric, like the piping on your grandmother's couch, so that it can get stained and wet and stuff. And then we all know, like the best restaurants have six or seven pages worth of. You know, zucchini fritters and all kinds of just deep fried garbage. You know, they haven't had their oil changed in forever. It's a pizza joint. Shiny, shiny uh, green tablecloth. Ugh. What a shithole. Sports stars just don't come in to sign the memorabilia that lines our walls. Like everyone else, they're here to take it. We wanted the restaurant to match our karaoke machine, said Keanu. I mean, look, you guys can clown on this. I mean, this is very funny that ch this is like one of Chad's best meals ever. Ken Mosca took us out for a very nice steak. <laughs> Salisbury, I believe advantage of great food and to have a really fun experience at our bar is this the bar how come when you said have a really fun experience at the bar you cut to uh the back kitchen and your chef just flambeing something this is the b-roll you used for have a lot of fun at our bar at the atlantic city bar and grill where you'll enjoy the freshest seafood daily right out of the atlantic ocean tea Whoa, they get it from the Atlantic. Your plate from oysters and clams. Huge muscles, luscious legs, tasty tails. AC bar and grill. It's got to be a nice place if they have sweatshirts made for their staff. Holy shit. This is a dive. This is a dive. Fresh homemade lobsters, Dungeness, Alaska. 
Just, I mean, you can feel how sticky that green tablecloth is, right? You can imagine it. They have ever they have the cups from the from the beginning of ET. A papa oo mau mau, papa oo mau mau. Remember, remember, Gertie. They're just not red. It's a pizza place. It's a pizza place. When there's stacked up plates. <laughs> oh, I love it when the dressing comes in a little plastic cup with a lid. It's pre-portioned. They get there in the morning and uh, Samantha does the dressings. This is a nice steakhouse, Chad. This is nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Eskin King and snow crabs are all prepared. Patty's too good for a nice highball and a wedge salad. Where's a wedge salad? This is Caesar in a bag. This is bagged Caesar. You know, you can taste how dirty that soda gun is. Gross. Prepared when you order. Don't touch the plate, it's hot. It's been in the salamander for 20 minutes. Our commitment to serving fresh, delicious food this way keeps us the longtime favorite. And we've become a landmark restaurant in Atlantic City. Be sure to try. You have it. You have it. Try our award winning baby back ribs, steaks. While he tells you about the baby back ribs and steaks, you, you get to look at the muscles. Italian specialties and pizza too. When you do AC, make sure you do AC bar and grill for our great food and the fun. Look at that rack of ribs. Look at the rack of ribs. Look at this sauce. Look at this Pomodoro sloshed all over everything. They've got the baked potato inside of the foil jacket. And of course your pre-portioned sour cream plopped on top. The bottom of this is absolutely covered in streptococcus. <laughs> but they they nestle it right in to the hot piping steamy potato so that it immediately curdles your cream. No, it looks really good. These these ribs don't look burnt at all. Nom 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 nom. You'll have it at our bar. It's a must visit before you leave Atlantic City. Take a jitney, grab a cab or drive, and park for free in our 100 spot lot right at the Atlantic City Bar and Grill. You we got a 100 spot lot. May have to wait a little longer for the freshest seafood in town. Well, that's because. You might have to wait a little longer because we weren't expecting anyone today. As your servers are running up from the beach to the kitchen with your order right now, make sure you join us at the Atlantic City Bar and Grill. We've revitalized our local pizza establishment and turned it into a place you're not going to want to miss with your family. Bring them down. I'd love to serve them up some lobster. Order up, table of two. The guy with the dirty glasses ordered the lobster steak and fries. Get those steaks in the microwave to defrost ASAP. Do we even have lobster anymore? Just shove some shrimp into that discarded potato skin. Bruce will be back from Costco in a minute with the Kirkland bag of fries. I had no idea it was as bad. Can we see the steak? Prices are subject to change. Our menu changes frequently due to fresh seafood supply and demand. Announcement! We're working on a new menu. Please come back later. We recently had celebrity Gino Bisconte in. We've got to take it up a notch. Take home AC and AC bar souvenir mug, $2. Well, oh, they've got merch. Try our spicy stoli crab Mary. Crab Mary, keep on burning. Rolling, rolling, rolling on a Mosca. Mosca must have had a $200 check at the end of the night. Guys, get anything you want. It's on me. More garlic nuts? Forget about it. Come on. 
What's not to love? Pineapple. We have every juice you could want. Guys, 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 please don't be shy. Eat up. Eat up. Try the fluke. For your information, Patrick, the ceiling fans at uh, Atlantic City Bar and Grill have reversible blades. Uh, Level two. Banquet and holiday party planner. We're working on a new holiday party planning menu. Bear with us. Sauvignon Blanc. Again, we couldn't be more proud of our grape juice selection. Dinner menu. Buffalo tenders. Buffalo wings. Homemade meatballs. Fried mozzarella. Regular tenders. (laughs) Hot Italian sausage. Stuffed mushrooms. Peel and eat shrimp. AC hot shrimp, buffalo shrimp, shrimp in a basket, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, pepperoni pizza, Mexican cheeseburger, crab cheeseburger, crab cheeseburger. It's definitely a no for me, dog. Crab pie topped with crab meat and white sauce. Ravioli, bisque. Let's see that steak. Let's see that steak. Filet mignon, $50. Fresh cut tenderloin in a demi-glace served with seasoned baked potato and steamed broccoli. They also have a $40 New York strip. Fresh cut sirloin served with seasoned baked potato in your own little cup (laughs) of sour cream. Can I get some more sour cream? That's a dollar. That's a dollar. You want want all your condiments to come and to either be on the table, like the ketchup, or you want it to come in little pre-portioned cups. Can I get a little more salad dressing? I have to charge you for that. We're not allowed to bring a little more. It's a, they're portioned. Where are you seeing wedge salad? Cause that's my shit. Oh my God. I'm going to Barry's uh, this week. Going back to Barry's my, my favorite place. When you come to, uh, if you come for Hackamania, Hackamania.com, get your tickets now. Um, if you really want to treat yourself, uh, go to dinner in Circa at Barry's Downtown Prime. It's my, it's, it's for a year and a half now, I haven't found a better steakhouse anywhere in Vegas. Uh, it's the best one. Walk past Oscars and head to Barry's. I'll come with you. I'll come with you. It's, it's a great night. You know, if you're going to have some drinks and stuff, plan on spending about 150 a person, I guess. I guess you could get the burger and get out of there for 80. But I recommend Barry's steak. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. I, Moody and his and his lovely lady came out from uh, New Zealand and I took them over there. They both took my recommendation and got the uh Berry steak. Oh, my God. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Maybe Sunday night, you know, we can do a dinner for just the rich people. Shut the fuck up, Chad. Yo, shaky ass hands. Couldn't bring that Totino's pizza to your motherfucking face. Hold the motherfucking toes. That's why they couldn't go to the venue and set up early. This is why 30 minutes after showtime, they were running around hooking up a karaoke machine. They had to go to a pizza place and get a steak. Literally a... We got a fish lunch. Really, though. Really. I mean, you saw it. It's a pizza place. I, you can feel how sticky that nylon green 
Just by looking at it, you've all been to that place. It's disgusting. I was allowed to order off the big boy menu this time. I asked if I could have anything I wanted, and Ken said yes. As long as it met the requirements uh, of the two-for-one coupon, they didn't cut my steak into pieces for me, but it's okay since Gino helped me out. Wow. I couldn't finish it all since they didn't have enough ketchup. Nothing on the desert menu looked interesting, so we got to go to Dairy Queen after for a cone. You can't take that away from me. You'll never take that away from Chad. By the way, I'd bet money on this. I'll, Chad, I'd bet money that you don't know how to use a fork and knife. You know, I don't even know if that's an insult. But that made me think of it. I'm, I'm not kidding. I bet Chad does not know how to correctly use a fork and knife. I've never thought that once in my life, but that chat made me think it. Can you picture? We already heard his hand was so shaky eating a burrito that he had to cut up that he couldn't keep stuff on the fork. It was falling off. Was that my corn salsa? Was that a piece of pico de gallo? I'd bet you dollars to dick holes. Chad does not know how to correctly use silverware without embarrassing himself. That's why they took him to a pizza place. Uh, you a hundred percent. You you he holds it like a hundred percent. He holds a fork like this, sawing it. Um, I'm cutting my meat. Hundred percent. Like I don't even know, and I know. You you know that you know that old Bill Maher bit. I don't know how I know it's true. I just know it's true. I just know. Based on how Chad is as a person, he definitely doesn't know how to correctly hold a knife and cut. I'd bet, I'd bet money on it. I'd bet money on it that he's that he's used to sporks and salmon out of little foil trays. Holy shit! This is such a boomer move for that is such a boomer move for some reason. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. Who in his life taught him? Patrick, show us your hands. What do you want to see? What are you looking for on my hands? Stuttering John cuts. I'm betting you Chad doesn't know how to cut properly. Like if you took him to a restaurant, you'd be embarrassed. The about you know like I, I i don't i don't even know i don't even know maybe uh uh gino or keanu can back us up keanu you know she acts like a chick who's been to finishing school so she should know you know which fork goes where moving from the outside in tinier forks bigger forks do you think chad knows how to cut a steak without looking like a fucking idiot. I submit that he cannot. I don't know how I know. Everyone who saw Chad, I, I, I bet Keanu and uh, Gino saw it at the thing, you know. Uh, I guarantee you. I guarantee you they saw him shaking the whole fucking time. Go back a few seconds and watch Chad... Tito Shea. I, I I just I don't even need to, man. I get it. He's shaky. He's a shaky man. Uh cousin IT, these old ladies here are starting to piss me off. Kick him out. Yell at him. Call him a cunt. Kate Meany, your analysis of Chad and Gino is spot on. I I mean, I only know what I know. I know what I know. I know that Chad and Gino yelling about other people don't even do comedy anymore. They're not real comedians. It's like. Some of us have just accepted what is and some of us haven't. The fact that Chad sits there and, and ridicules Pat Dixon like you used to be somebody. You've really fallen off. It's like. As opposed to what, Chad? Chad Zumach, who's at the top of his game? 
as opposed to Gino Bisconte, who will tell you that 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 show was dope and they're going to do more of them. And it was no, that's how he meant it to be. It's like, OK, OK, we don't need you if these if these are your takes. You know, for, like, again, I, I don't think Gino's fucking retarded. He knows what a good comedy room is. He knows what a well-produced show looks like. So if you're just going to go like, fuck you, it was great. It was awesome. We, everybody had a good time. It, it's like, you're not listening to the people who were there. You're not listening. And again, I, I, you have your, you, you know, your shit doesn't stink in your head so far up your ass. Uh, everyone can walk out of there and give it a one star and you'd still go. Everyone had fun. Everyone had fun. It's not about that. They have fun because it was so fucking bad. But you should cringe a little bit at making people pay $25 for that unorganized garbage fest. Like, you just should. Or you don't give a fuck. Or you don't give a fuck. In which case, (laughs) I guess everybody will sign up for your next event. Shit show. I'd like to know Kumia's numbers the last six months. Oh, yeah. What are what are Chad's? Can we get all the, the breakdown on stats? John, uh, Steve C., member for nine months. Um, he's avoiding my super chat. I thought it was a good question. Yeah, no, Chad's one of these guys now who doesn't show super chats. Either. Again, Single Mother 5 just said, can you please plug Hackamania May 31st through June 2nd? Why wouldn't you put that up? Chad, you're telling everybody it's not selling. You're telling everybody Melton needs you. Now there's a guy going like Melton needs Brennan at the event. I I can't make this more clear. We don't, and I can't afford them anyway. I'd rather pay everybody else more. I'd rather pay everyone else there more. That's a fact. Hello? Hello? Hey, buddy. I know you're talking about Chad and Gino. I don't want to derail the show, but I have a hilarious Apple Talk Live. This is not a show. <laughs> so I went looking for the sweet tangos, and unfortunately, I came up empty handed, but I got some sugar bees. And literally, on the two pound bag of sugar bees, their slogan is, Oh, honey, it's good. <laughs> oh. So okay. I think about you every time I uh, look at the bag. So thanks for the recommendation. I'll let you continue. Bye. I think about you every time I look at the bag. That's how Steel Toe talks about his boxing. I think of you every time I look at the bag. My bag. Um, not Nacho. Matchbox 20. E-Rock loves Sunny D vodka. Sunny D is a child's drink. Like, am I wrong here? And people give him responsibilities. Oof. Yeah, I mean, at least have the common decency to pick up a carton of five alive. You know, if you want to do Sunny D, elevate it a little bit. Get some five alive. Remember that? People are trying the Sweet Tango uh, apples, and they're loving them. People on Twitter, um, everyone's trying the Sweet Tangos. They're loving them. And again, I've tried the Cosmic Crisp. I'm not saying the Cosmic Crisps are bad. They're a little bit too uh, sour for me. It's a little too too sharp um, for daddy. Pulp Parade, $20 comment. I will pin that one to the top because that's important. We don't get enough of those. Hello? Hey, do you have any hookups at the Sphere? I want to see Dead and Co., but it's super expensive. Wait, what? Oh, the, the Sphere. The there in your town. Yeah, I got a lot of really hookups. E- email you... me. I, I, got, I know a guy who runs the back door. I mean, maybe you do. <laughs> I oh. don't. I don't. All right. Love you, brother. See you. I have no hookups in Vegas. Mm-hmm. All the comics hate me here. Thank you for the $20 comment, Paul. But not enough people do the $20 comment you know it really makes your comment pop here's drive by with five gifted memberships thank you very much drive by who's also on our list of high rollers sean five dollars used to get obliterated there when i was 18 when i think ac bag i think young adults vomiting on each other's shoes Yeah, everyone in AC is just like a, they pretty much are snooky. Just drunk losers. Nominal. Atlantic City Bar and Grill. 
It was phenomenal, said Chad. So listen to him talk about this meal at this pizza place we just saw. The waitress, you know, they get the they literally have they're wearing like the Ricks. Go to our store, nobody likes onions.com slash store. The Rick's employee t shirts that we made to like clown on those places. That's what they wear. Our muscles are the biggest in town, you know, that kind of like garbage hick white trash shit. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. One of the best $30 fillets I've ever had in my life. Um, Bob's Fly Baby, $5. What happened between Bob and Kevin? Also, why are you live at 9.40 a.m.? Because he has to check out in 20 minutes. I came. I was at the bar for an hour. Melton didn't show. AC is a success. We'll get to Bob and Kevin. I'll explain why I'm live at 9.40 a.m. Uh, simple. Number one, I'm a morning guy. I always have been. And two, this is the only time I'm probably going to be able to talk, and I got to I want to get it out there because I'm going to Jim's Super Bowl party, and I don't think I really, really want a podcast. Also, remember when he was like, Jim's Super Bowl party is the event of the year. It's like Jim, Chad, Tony Mazur, and Mike Morse. That was the gang. Jim's Super Bowl parties are like the event of the year. <laughs> are they? Ha! Gay! Like, unlike a lot of these podcasters, like, I like to live life. I just... I like to actually go out and do things and interact with human beings. And We've been there for three days. Chad's been there for 18 hours. He's like, you know, unlike Melton, I like to, like, come to AC and live life. It's like, I've been there for three days hanging out. Who's the shut-in again? Instead of live streaming all day, like all these fucking losers. That's the other thing, too. It's like, we live stream 90 minutes again, and it's all day. Melton hid in his room all day. It's like, what? We can find, find somebody to help corroborate that we're, we're out all day. <laughs> it's like, it, it, Chad can't make up his mind which side he's on. He's like, these losers, all they do is stream. But when Chad's streaming, he's like, this will be up later. This is my show. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to get up early. I got to check out 11 anyway, so let's just do it. We're doing it. So uh, I'm texting with Tony. He's here at the Borgata. We decide we're going to take an Uber. And we're like, we're going to take an Uber to the Atlantic City Bar and Grill. <clears throat> I'm late to get down there because I'm on. Uh, I, I'm usually punctual. That's my, my greatest thing. I'm punctual. That's my greatest thing. That's it. Everything else is garbage. <clears throat> so I got down there late, and I can't find Tony's. I, I, I lie. I'm a criminal. My comedy's not good. I have no fans. I'm broke. I have no property. But I'm punctual. That's my thing says meet me at the starbucks i can't find the starbucks i'm running around the casino like a madman for like 20 minutes i'm sweating and finally find tony and like cool we, we go out front to get an uber now if you know the layout of the borgata it's very funny to go meet at the starbucks the starbucks is nowhere near anywhere where you'd go to catch an uber so that in and of itself is hilarious meet me at the starbucks Meet me on the self-parking garage, level five, and then we'll go back down through the casino to the front and get an Uber. <laughs> and you can't get Ubers out front. You have to go to another location. We know. So we're Again, anyone who's ever been in a casino knows this, but Chad hasn't. It's, it's like when he tells you he has clear but doesn't know how basic things at an airport work. Yeah, so they want you to get here two hours early. Um, now, so that's crazy. You guys heard about this? You're not allowed to bring a bottle of water to the gate now. You guys heard about this? A lot of these casinos have a designated pickup zone. It's crazy. You, have you guys seen this? Where all the uh, taxing and uh, valet is, they're like, you can't get Ubers here. 
So we're like, all right, cool. Where is it at? They're, they, they, they told us. It took us 25 to 30 minutes to find this fucking Uber pickup. I was losing my mind. It's not that big of a casino. You can walk one end of the casino to the other end of the casino in five minutes. 25, 30, maybe three hours. I can't remember. It might have taken us two days to find it. I can't really remember. Because all we were doing was walking. I got, like, easily 10,000 steps in between trying to find Tony and trying to find the Ubers. Five mile. Chad easily walked five miles looking for the Ubers. Also, there's signs up in the casino everywhere that say ride share, pickup area. But it's not, that's not a good story. Chad walked five miles in circles in the snow. Finally get the Uber. We show up to the Atlantic City Bar. and Also, like, all these brags are just that he's an idiot. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find, I walked around for an hour to find the Starbucks. Jesus, Tony. Yeah, it's Tony's fault. You're dumb. Bro. And uh, they're all at the bar drinking. Bill from Jersey, Ken Mosca, Kiki, and Gino. And I haven't seen Gino in four years. You know, obviously, we know the ups and downs. We know all the ups and downs. What happened? I mean, recapping last year, we remember. I remember it was the start of it all. It was the start of the mud shark. Kumia's cucks. Steel Toe, Chrissy, Frank, E-Rock. Carl, Gino, my old friend Gino, piling on me. My old roommate, my old drinking buddy, was shitting all over me for months. I'm like, at least you've forgotten about it. At least you're not bitter. Oh, that old rugged cross, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction for me. Left his glory above to bear it to dark gravy. Christina, honey, could you keep it down in there? I'm sermonizing. I mean, have we seen any Christina C. religious nonsense? I mean, how long is Joey going to keep this one up now? These guys have no idea. It's just pathetic. I'll appear in, in your dreams like Freddie do. No kidding you. Even if I stuttered, I would still sh- 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 shit on you. I'll appear in your dreams and Freddie you. Like, you fucking sell out. You cool me a ball washer. They're they're all fucking piling on, piling on like bitches. But the difference between Chrissy, Frank, Carl, Steel Toe is I had a relationship. I had a friendship with Gino before this all happened. I've known Ryan Dalton longer than Ray. I know I Ray's having Melton on. I knew I knew Melton first. I'm the one who got him into the I this is everything of value to Chad is how long who's known people more. I'm a better friend than you. Wanna see who's got more friends? So Ken Mosca, who's our mutual friend, was desperately trying to repair our relationship. He was working. Poor Ken Mosca. You know, again, all this just to stick it to Kevin or, or me or something. I don't know. Ken Mosca just hemorrhaged cash on this deal. First of all, having to take Chad and Gino to the 93rd best restaurant in, in AC couldn't have been cheap. And then pay them out of pocket. Again, let's use Gino's numbers of, of 38 tickets. And, and by the way, Gino is going to prove that with a text. <laughs> None of these guys know what proof is. <laughs> They're like, I have a text where someone told me 38 tickets were sold. You want to see it for proof? It's like, I don't think you know what proof is. But let's go with it. Let's go with it. Let's say you did make $800 in tickets. Oof. Four comics. Oof. Now, you didn't. You didn't. The tables were blocked off for ticket holders. This is also what Gino does. Now he's going, hey, pal, I never said the word word proof. I just said that's what Ken texted me. Then why would I want to see it? You offered it up as proof. I never said you said proof. 
that's what you offered it up as. You, you know, you've got to let go of this semantic horseshit to try to win arguments. I'm saying it didn't happen. And you're saying we sold 38. You want to see the text? Why would I want to see the text? For proof. For proof. Is what you're offering up it up as proof is what you're offering it as. That's you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't offering it as proof. I was just offering it as not proof. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck. And this is every one of Gino's show, and it's why you shall get no listeners. This disingenuous semantic game you play with everything. Did I say I was going to do the AC event? I never said that. What happened? What happened, Gino? Did you go? Did you do the AC event? Ah, but you never said. I never said it was. Shut up. <laughs> fucking hell. What a fucking bitch. What a bitch. Women don't play as many games as you. It's fucking gay. <laughs> I never said that. I didn't use the word proof. Oh, you were just going to show me to what? Prove nothing? Show nothing? No, that's not what I'm melting. I never, me and Keanu didn't say we were going to go to. Shut up. You're a fucking joke. <laughs> You're a fucking clown. No one takes you seriously. Good luck. Stay on compound where nobody can see your numbers. Because they're 70. <laughs> Working tirelessly to bring us back together for months and months and months. Okay. Now, now, it's been, now this, was, this show is in the work for months and months and months. Again, which is just the, posting your L's bigger and better than ever. Oh, that's why it wasn't ready to go at showtime. Because it was months and months and months in the making. And we were so stubborn, so slow to, like, come back together. We were both, like, saying, you know what? I don't know. Fuck him. Fuck. Now, before the show, Chad said he wanted Gino on to make it bad as a joke. We're, I'm going to have Gino on just to make it weird. You know, let's see how fucking bad we can make it. We'll get Ray and Melton. It'll be the, just a shit show. Now that it's over, it's like, you know, me and Gino worked very, very hard to make, to come together on this. And it's like, it's so pathetic. It's so, I've never seen more grown men gas like themselves. Mosca took us out to a very nice steak dinner. Nice steak dinners on a Parmesan cheese on a table in a shaker. That guy, he said this, he said that. But little by little, we started to chip away and chip away and chip and away. now we have a friendship. Chip away. And soon as I seen Gino, soon as he I... Says, imagine talking like this. Soon as I seen Gino, soon as I seen him. See Gino, I knew exactly... Like, you see a lot of these people in person, a lot of these trolls. As soon as you meet them in person, they're they're decent people, and they find out you're a decent person, and you're just fine. No, no, no. So Chad, again, has gaslit himself into thinking everyone he met at the show, and let's not, let's not, you know, be ambiguous here. Most of the people who came out to the show came to watch a fucking shit show they came to watch chad eat shit it's why everyone left but after chad half the people it was so crazy this is why we were sitting there waiting on people at the bar we, we had no idea when anybody was coming we had 20 people at the bar shitting on chad's set while we were down there and we're like where is everybody where's gino where's chad where's and they're like oh no gino's still on they walked out before gino went up most of the people who bought a ticket left before Gino took the stage. No one was there to see Gino. No one was there in earnest to watch a good comedy show, except for Bill from Jersey. 
and Ken Mosca, who had to leave early. Ken Mosca had to leave early for an emergency, and Bill from Jersey had to leave early to shit himself. This is true. Bill from Jersey apparently got diarrhea and had to leave the show early. This is uh, He told people. I don't know if it's true, but that, you know, that's what they were saying. Like Bill had to like exit stage left because he had the squirts. But a hundred percent everybody was back before Gino was on. They were just like, ah, oh, we left when Chad was done. Every everyone at the bar we saw, we were like, where is everybody? We we thought the show was over. And they were like, no, no, Gino's still on. So again, no one took this seriously, including the participants. The, 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 this is pathetic where they're like, you know, Chad, at least Chad, at least Chad did a show. It's like yeah, any experienced comic worth their weight in dicks would have taken one look at this and gone, no thanks. Chad's organizing it. I'm good. Now I had no idea Gino was also just as incompetent, but. Turns out, two pro comics, nobody put any thought or effort into the show. That's just a fact. It's just a fact. Chad didn't put any effort into his set. You know, I can't even speak for Gino's set. I, I imagine at least Gino told jokes. I don't know. But the fact is, neither one of them gave a dog's pile about that show. And it shows. It shows in how set up it was. It shows in how, how prepared they were. So I, I guess keep thumping your chest in a victory. It lets us know your standards. Again, it just agree to disagree. You and, and by the way, you saying everyone had a good time. I talked to 10 people with tickets who didn't. I talked to 10 people with tickets who were like, it was a fucking shit show. So keep drinking that Kool-Aid. I, again, if you if you reached out to the marketing list for that show and said we're doing it again next month, who's coming? You think there'd be a lot of repeat ticket sales based on how that event went? No, no. Every fucking thing we told you was gonna happen happened. No one's coming. Chad's gonna suck dick and not do any new jokes. And nobody's going to give a fuck about the show because Chad doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Chad's like, we better not try to film it. We're going to have, you're not going to have shit other than two meals for dinner. That's what you're going to have. You're going to have a steak on a plastic tablecloth. That's what you're going to have. You're going to have dressing that comes in a little cup with your salad. That's what you're going to have. You're going to have diarrhea if you're Bill from Jersey. That's what you're going to have. Tell us again how it's all going to go. Tell us again. And then, by all means, crow and tell me how Hackamania is going to go. Tell me how it's going to go. They're not even selling tickets. It's going to be a disaster. Yeah, I've, I've already put way more thought into it than you could ever put into anything. Chad's got ADD. He can't focus. Imagine him trying to get a venue set up and coordinate tech equipment and organize ticket sales and policing a room and turning a room in between. Imagine him trying. Thank God Gino Bisconte was there to assist. Imagine how it would have been if either one of them wasn't involved. Would it have been... Would it have been oh, wait, no. There was no prep put into it, so that it would have been exactly the same. Thank God two of our dullest boobs were on the case. It's just fucking, it's a joke. It's a joke. The, what you'll get out of Hackamania for only four times the price of Chad's disaster, no effort show, it, it is a bargain. It really is when you think about it. Because there'll be intention behind everything. There'll be thought. You know, I want you to come out and have a good time. Us have a show. You'd be able to hear it, see it, not have to worry about chatter in the back. Not have to worry about stuttering John standing up every three minutes making about him. And by the way, they think that's awesome. 
stuttering John Cup standing up and interrupting our sets and screaming skull. It was so cool. <laughs> Everybody had a really good time, Melton. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, yeah, I guess my my thing is that I'm saying is that everyone would have the same exact time standing around with a beer. Uh, I I don't doubt that nobody complained and demanded their money back. I don't doubt that one bit. Chad bombed and ate shit. It was is what everybody came for. I, I I'd argue that the reason no one was disappointed is because expectations were so low. No one expected there to be. When when you guys ran around trying to find a karaoke machine to do your jokes into, I, everyone in the crowd went, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. So, you know, it is it is what it is. But the fact that you'll double down on it and be like, it was awesome, everybody loved it. It's like, okay, again, run it monthly and let us know. Really build it up, you know. Create, create, a, create an event. And really get it going and show us. Show us what the Tennessee Beer Hall can be. <laughs> Hackamania makes no sense. I agree. I agree. What even is it? What even is it? <laughs> oh, my God. I got to go yell at Moody about this uh, super tip system. Bugs on bugs on bugs. Broccoli, the Jap, had a portable karaoke machine. Any Vegas comics going to hack a man? Yeah, well, ha look, the stand-up show will have local comics for sure. We're not, we're not even, you know, we're not even there. People, like, wanting the schedule and stuff. It's like, we don't have the line. People are going to be added to this. So we're not putting it, we're not, I'm not rolling out some lineup that's subject to change. You know, the start time on Saturday may still change because we're still adding things. We're adding stuff. I'm telling people 5 p.m. Friday, we're having our VIP reception cocktail. 5 p.m. Friday. Ken Mosca says it wasn't my show, but I do enjoy the shout outs. This is what, but Ken, this is what I'm saying. Someone has to take responsibility for nothing being set up. Chad did act like it was your fault. I don't know if you caught that. Chad went live on a show and said, we got there. Nothing was set up. I told him I wanted lighting. I told him I needed a microphone. I told him we needed somebody checking tickets at the door. I told him we needed security. They didn't have any of that ready to go. Chad said that. Again, as if it's a shock. He expected, you know, it just shows you how, how dumb Chad is to the world. Chad thought he could show up and all that stuff would just be thought of and taken care of. So you guys all just get out there on the shuffleboard court and scoot around the blame. Chad's like, oh, they really fucked up and dropped the ball. The venue wasn't ready. They didn't have anything set up. Mosk is like, it wasn't my event. I, 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 I was responsible to take everybody to the pizza plate. And then, and then you got Gino's hot take. Everything was great. It was, it was a success, and everybody loved it. The show couldn't have been smoother. So, yeah, we, we literally have this, the three Spider-Men standing around pointing at each other. Um, so Ken Mosca said he did all of that with the owner, not me. Okay, fair enough. So Ken Mosca wasn't responsible for anything. He takes full blame, even though both, both Gino and Chad kept pointing to Ken Mosca as being the producer of this thing. So, again, that's just inappropriate attribution, I guess. Okay. Then you had the owner of the venue who Chad was supposed to be set all this stuff up with, but the owner wasn't even there because he had to leave early to go do some personal stuff, so he didn't give a fuck about this event. The point is none of it got done. So everyone, I guess, just keep pointing fingers at everybody, and I guess then it doesn't matter. Well, and, and like uh, Gino said, he's planning on doing it, doing it every month, doing it, you know, we're going to have another one soon. Whose fault will that one be? Will anybody see it coming this time? Huh? You know, last time I thought Mosca had it. Last time I thought the owner had it. Last time I thought Chad had it. Last time I thought Gino had it. This time, will it all be hooked up? This time, will it be thought about in advance? Will you go, huh? Well, we definitely don't want to have. No, no, because Gino will go, hey, whatever happened last time worked perfect. That was a great show. And Mosca's not involved, and Chad won't be involved. Will the owner care this time, or how does it work? 
Literally, everyone's going like, it wasn't my job. It wasn't my job. Cool. Yo, cool. the video of those people flopping around on the ground in front of the bar with my nephew, Ray Ray, and his baby, Mama Chanterelle. I'm sorry they missed the show. It's, uh, I'm going to give them two VIP passes to my next hosting gig at Side Splitters. Fuck no neck, beard, weird lip. Do you want me to have to pour one out for them? Please, I'd like to meet Tookie. Shut up, Chad. It was the bank's fault the show sucks, Melton. Yeah. Chad Chad spent more time chatting with the bank about his baby boy savings account that he was trying to open than he did, than he did like, prepping for a show. So insane. So insane. And again, I see you, Gino, in the chat just cope, cope, coping. Yeah, before I get any event booked, I always want to check what Melton thinks. I don't give a fuck whether you care what Melton thinks at all. You know I'm right, you bitch. Call yourself a fucking comedian more and keep going on and on about how great it was, you faggot. You know I'm right, you bitch. No one's even insulting you. No one watched your set. Matter of fact, people explicitly left before it. Giving zero fucks. I know you don't care what Melton thinks. No one gives a fuck about that. Way to fucking twist it to cope in your little copy brain, bitch. You know I'm right. It was a fucking disaster. Logistics, tickets, security, chairs, Seating, lighting, audio, sets. It was garbage, bitch. It's not negotiable. We heard it. We watched Tony Mazur and Chad huddle over a fucking karaoke machine. You know, like the old man and the young kid in Gremlins while they're trying to figure out how to work the Mogwai. We watched it, bitch. Take your thumbs up and sit on them, lying faggot. You're taking it too personal. So keep sticking up for the pile of shit you were a part of. You're the fucking headliner and the most pro-comic on the lineup, and even you can't go, it was thrown together and not really conceived well. You lying bitch. How good was the fucking steak pizza, faggot? Keep keep coping. Yeah, because we really care what Mel... It ain't about what Melton thinks. Objectively, truth-wise, it wasn't thought about. Audio, lighting, logistics, it wasn't considered at all. I'm not wrong. It's not what Melton thinks. It's what is. It's what was. So you raising your hand and keep vouching for a pile of dog shit shows that you're dog shit. <laughs> no one's talking about your comedy. No one's putting you down. But keep defending it, faggot. You're a fucking idiot. No, it's great. Like anybody cares what Melton thinks. Okay. Open a comedy club there then. Show us all. Do another show. Sell it out. Show me the 38 tickets. I never thought I would show you. I thought I had it. I never thought it was proof. I thought it was a visual aid that could convince. Uh, compound media. <laughs> Billy's on on a shit stay Shin far away. Uh, too much TP. Now it's overflowing. He is gonna lose his guts tonight at this it. Who the fuck is you be serenading and pick up all these super chats up off the flow? You mocking Mindy looking motherfucker. You think Kevin's like on one of those two terabyte iCloud accounts to hold all his fucking Photos of super chats. Billy's on a stitch chasing far away. <laughs> I can't. I can't. So look, Gino's all heard about it. I, I don't give a fuck. Again, you're you're wearing, you're taking it on, and I'm not even attacking you. 
You can't. You had nothing to do with it. Okay. You weren't supposed to set it up. You were the talent. You showed. Uh, if that was a comedy club and you showed up, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" I'd be texting my manager immediately, going like, "Where am I? Why don't they have anything set up? This is dog shit." Okay? Like you would. If it was a real club where you had gotten booked, you'd be on the phone with your manager immediately going like, just like you would if it was a bad hotel or something. You'd be like, they don't have a, a, the show set up. They haven't sold any tickets. There's no audio. There's no video. But no, he can't even do that. Gino's too proud. The same way I'll sit there and tell you that Compound Media is not on fire. He'll go, I don't know what you're talking about. It was one of the best shows. Just like our, just it was just like the compound show in the baseball field. It was sold out as long as nobody panned up into the stands where there were 17 Kumia fans, you know, just. <laughs> so that's where you're at. Again, imagine ever buying a ticket to a Gino Bisconte event based on what he thinks is good. You know, hello. What's up, buddy? Who's this? Lee Lou? Lou. Lee Lou. The the Lou. The guy. Lou himself. Stevie, if you walked up to any comedy show and 20 minutes after it was started, they were trying to hook up a karaoke machine, wouldn't you be I mean, he he literally he can't go, no, this was it was the, whoever was supposed to set this up dropped the ball. He can't even say it. Yeah, I mean it's this is your first argument with Gino, I guess. No, 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 I, I get it. I get it, but that's why that's why nobody wants to go on a show or talk to him because he'll just scream over everything. Daddy says the, this! The reason, the reason why I'm calling, though, is because it's so funny. Before the, like, a couple weeks before the show, Gino claimed that he had to have a talk with Chad and said, this is a real comedy show. We're not going to have Stevie Lou on. Because Chad had like tried to put me on the show, and then Gino said, "No, no, no! This is a real deal comedy show we're gonna do down there. Stevie Lou can't be on it." And then look what happened. So it's a total bullshit from the fucking guys, no matter what. And uh, it's just like before it started, so before point. it started, all the indicators that it was unplanned, un unprepared garbage. And then we heard the tape again. I, I didn't play any of Keanu or Gino. That that's not my wheelhouse and i don't and i don't even really care about chad stand-up we do it just to irk chad and prove that chad can't write a joke you know but by all i did hear i do have audio of gino and keanu chad's in the back screaming during all that and during chad's set gino's in the back holding court and screaming with stuttering john so yeah i guess i'm out of it I, I don't know what a good show. You, you're right. Melton doesn't do comedy anymore. He wouldn't know a good show. Like, shut up. <laughs> well, I mean, you get the chance to show him how it's done for uh, Hackamania. I mean, it so, just uh, it, it takes so tickets. little fucking effort. It really does. It's not hard. Audio, video, set up the room right. Like, don't let people just, you know, play bejeweled out loud on their phone during the show. And also, I'm sorry. I hope Bill from Jersey had like a Pepto Bismol or something afterwards, because that's that's got to suck for for Bill. Yeah, I just, it you know? it does stink that nobody could stick around and shit at the venue. But I heard that they didn't have any toilet uh, paper but, or stalls on the doors. It was just as just as much of a shit show in there. Pun intended. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see the Bob Marley movie at 4:20 today. So okay. uh, well, we I'll, all, I'll see you later. Pal. We'll all be waiting. <laughs> Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I just, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. All I need to see is, is Gina going like, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. It was a great show and everybody had a great time. Okay. You have your head up your ass. That's what's going on. If you think everyone who came is happy with the show and had a great time, your head, this is your ass. This is your head, and it's up it. It's up it. Couldn't couldn't be any more up it, you know, frankly. Mark Abatista, who is sending me a Wagyu brisket from Snake River Farms. I I can't wait for this. Uh, Boy Genius just posted a pic from the check, uh, the Looney Bin, uh, 
boy genius just post a pic of a check from the loony bin to prove you wrong and forgot to back out the routing and account numbers said he didn't cash it what i don't even know what this one's about uh ozone gifted five nobody likes onions memberships thank you very much ozone i don't know who this is is ozone a person i need to be aware of is this a troublemaker in our in our midst DK gifted 10 Nobody Likes Onions memberships. Thank you, DK. DK got sick, too sick to go to the show before it even started. It's almost like he got wind of how bad it is. I can't. I just can't. But, uh, yeah, I, I, there's two realities, I guess. There's the reality of the people who heard the audio and were at the show. It's like, again, Kevin talked to people who were at the show, and they, and they all told him it, it was a shit show on or unorganized garbage. Everybody who was back before Gino's set was over was telling us it was took forever to get going. Nobody knew what they were doing. Nobody knew how to start the show. Audio, light, uh, just, but you, but you say it went great and everybody had a good time? What is is? <laughs> what is is, I guess. I guess all those people I talked to who went are full, are lying to make Gino Bisconte look bad. <laughs> I can't believe you guys would sink that low. I'd like to apologize to my longtime listener, George. He's been a fan since 1987 and is a top contributor to the show. I'll be adding him to the wall and sending you your choice of hat, mug, and shirt. Holy Email shit. me me, good buddy. Carlos Danger, member for 11 months, almost one full year. Just tuning in, heard routing number. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was about. Boy Genius, just post a pic of a check from the loony bin to prove you long. Are you Asian? Ah, Boy Genius, just post picture of check from Rooney bin to prove you long. <laughs> He love you. Uh, Puddin' Toot. I live in Vegas, and I'm pumped to meet you guys at Hackamania. Good to know, Puddin' Toot. Quite a few Vegas people purchasing tickets for Hackamania. I can't believe that we have such a sleeper contingent of fans here, but uh, I've seen quite a few of the tickets come rolling in from people who live right here in Vegas. So I'll be looking forward to meeting you, too. Look, we're just, you know, again, the, the secret to all this is not make it too complicated. Focus on what you focus on and do a good job and execute. That's what I'm focusing on. The stage, the sound, the lighting, the live stream, and the organization of the event. Having everybody know where to be, know when to be there, have access to what they need access to, and everything else is on you. You can figure out your hotel. You can figure out where to go eat. You don't need Mosca showing you to the best pizza place slash steakhouse slash dive bar in town. You'll figure that out. I'm going to focus on things that have to do with delivering an experience to the ticket holders. Chad was focused on clams and not running into Melton. Gino was focused on having a gig for once and telling everybody it went great. I'm going to be focused on delivering the great kick. Now, look, I'm going to go up and host a couple of the events. I'm going to do a live Nobody Likes Onions there, but that's the extent of it. The rest of the time, I'm going to be producing shows and making sure everything's going right for you, the people who paid for it, because I have to wear multiple hats. NobodyLikesOnions.com slash store. We do sell multiple hats. So that's it. That's it. All it takes is a little effort. All it takes is a little trying. A little a little pretending to give a fuck. Cuz again, I could I could set up no sound system. We could just turn on the fluorescent overhead lights and say, "God damn it, I can't believe nobody set this up." All right, showtime. Can I get a guess that says Keanu? No. You guys are not welcome. Pat Dixon will be at this event, and you are not welcome. <laughs> yeah, right. We could come to the event, and then Pat Dixon won't be welcome. Try it. See how that goes. See who gets ejected. 
I haven't even thought about it. Fuck, I haven't thought about that. I, I just, you know. I won't be yelled at. I won't be yelled at. You guys are going to go do a, an event in uh, in Steel Toe Country, and we've all seen what that'll consist of, a banner and a bunch of bigotry. And then you'll have, you're going to have the Shuley Network with you. So, again, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. One of the guys can't figure out how to sell tickets to events on his website. You go to Steel Toe, SteelToeEntertainment.com or whatever, he's still selling tickets on there for a 2021 event. They never even put tickets up for their 2023 event. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no one's worried. No one's, Steel Toe's going to throw an event. I, Steel Toe doesn't have fans left. Steel Toe doesn't have anyone who listens to their program left. They're trying to get Chad on. That's where they're at. Chad was mentally ill and dangerous. They had to eject themselves from the dabble verse, but now, please, Chad, please. Maybe we can get a guest set on BYB. I hear they have a hundred fans. <laughs> so, you know, how it started, how it's going. You tell me. Bye. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? Comedy hasn't hit him yet, they're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed the stupid hoes. Oh no, I'm still here. I forgot I had super chats to go. You can't leave when people do super chats. But we do get rid of like a hundred people who tune out immediately when I do that. So I'll stay for another three hours. I don't care. <laughs> uh Mark Abatista, you told him you would double what he was paid. If he showed you the check, he took it down after someone pointed out the routing and account numbers. ETA on the brisket, the 22nd. Whew. Oh, man. Post it, Chad. Post. First of all, what's this? The check from five months ago when I was like, what'd you make at the loony bin? And again, what's the, what was the check for? 425? What what am I? You know. Chad po Chad's the only one who posts L's and intends them as W's, you know? Like <laughs> Chad'll go like, uh-uh. I didn't make $230. I made $270. It's like, it's still like less than minimum wage. What was the check for? 500 Because it doesn't really change anything. If it, if it's a thousand, it's embarrassing. Chad drove from Tampa to Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's three days of driving for Chad. And drove home. That's another three days of driving for Chad. And he was there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and drove home Sunday. So that's six days of sitting. So now we're at 12 days. If it's a thousand, it's poor pay. If it's a thousand, it's poor pay. But what was it? But what was it? Five? Four? It's pathetic. It's like when Chad goes, Melton sent me a check for 241 for my merch. He's pathetic. No, it was 167. Whatever you think it is, Chad, it's way sadder and more pathetic than that when you get to the real number. Yeah, 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 yeah. 241 you made for your merch. You wish. You wish. Put in two. Do you need any volunteers to help out with anything? I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Feel free to shoot in your offers to help out and volunteer. I'm not even answering them yet, but they all are going in a file folder. I think we're fine. We got plenty of people. And to, to all the drunk fans who want to help, like Ian Hawk and Crumbum, buy a ticket and just drink. We've seen what you're capable of, and it's just stirring up shit. So that's where I need you. In the crowd, stirring up shit. Just drink. Have a good time. And hang out with people. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. We caught up. 
Any other thoughts? Does Gino finally kick the bucket? Is he out? I don't even know. Like, I can't even keep up with his excuses. I I hope Gino and Kiki ever, like, get their shit together and, like, really do a show together. Our buddy Aaron did it, and it's working out great for him. Come on. Let's start a couple cast. What could go wrong? In the history of couple casts, most of them go go well. And it definitely doesn't hurt the relationship. <laughs> ah! All right, anyway, um, Steel Toe's a joke. Uh, I can't wait. Again, Aaron's, Aaron's uh, getting jealous and wants to start his own event now. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to reach out to... Uh, the Shuley Network and the Biscontes. Maybe we'll do a big show out here. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. I have a feeling there'll be mirrored ceilings and paneled walls and a karaoke machine. And then I have a feeling that Gino will be like, it was so much better than anything else. Best gig I've ever done in my life. Thank you, everybody. We're going to do a soft out. We're going to do a soft out, okay? Bye. Bye.